In today's video, I'm going to talk about can you become a planning engineer without having any experience? Many engineers think they cannot become planning engineer without having any experience. It is a myth which is killing many careers. Let me prove to you people this fact that how you can become a planning engineer without having any experience but with the right bundle of skills. In this video, I will uncover the exact combination of skills that make you a true industry-based planner, not just a software operator. And at the end, I will share how you can join my live free masterclass in which I'm going to share with you many amazing things. Well, my name is Engineer Vakas Ahmed and I have helped many civil engineers, electrical, mechanical engineers to transform their ordinary low salary unproductive job career to planning engineer job career before getting into the detail of today's video i would request you people to subscribe this channel so that in future i make any video you will get that link on time many engineers think only those people can become planning engineers who have already experience this is very common question people uh, used to ask me in my live free masterclass but let me clear about these things first of all just divide your audience into two categories one those people who are going to start their job career they don't need any site experience even in that situation they can become a planning engineer freshers going to understand the project planning control concepts and then they will be performing the job role as a junior planner from junior planner, the companies, organizations, or project management teams are not going to expect any kind of senior level task. In the field, senior people are going to guide them and they need very basic level job done from these people. Like they need to get uh, data loaded in Primavera P6. They need to be familiar with basic classes of contract. They need to be familiar with basic templates of Excel, right? So for freshers, there is an other way of thinking to join project planning and control. And yes, they can join from very start and they don't need any kind of experience. They only need to learn Primavera P6 and basic supporting uh, bundle of skills like contract basic ideology, uh, what contract is about, then the basic Excel templates, then basic concepts of project management. Now I will come on the second category of the audience like our engineers who are mid-career level engineers who have already spent three years, four years in the field as a site engineer, as a QAQC engineer, as a design engineer. But they think uh, that their experience is not that much valuable to transform their career as a planning engineer. They think by themselves and it is very wrong ideology which is stopping them to join this productive job career. Even if you want to become a planning engineer, I'm going to share with you people the bundle of skill set for those engineers who are mid-career level uh, people who are performing already. First of all, you need to understand project management concepts that how uh, as a planning engineer, you have to implement time management, cost management, resource management, uh, risk management, communication management on your project wherever you are deployed on like building construction projects road construction projects MEP pipeline solar wind whatever project you are doing right now as any other job role right the second important thing you have to understand which already you have actually as a QS QC engineer as a site engineer you have already understanding of all those phases how site execution work is carried out right what is the sequence what is the logic uh, and how you are attending the meetings in those meetings uh, all the planning engineers your all the team is participating they are sharing their points so you have already that kind of exposure that what does mean by plan what does mean by program what does mean by the schedule right you have already that knowledge but only the difference nobody has guided you in that way so that is the second thing your execution experience whatever you have been doing in the field right that experience is going to guide you support you to become as a planning engineer i will be guiding you the third most important thing now the project management like how to implement time how to implement cost how to implement resources right this is a complete philosophy concepts you are going to implement on your project any planning engineer going to work on building roads or pipeline they are going to just make their time management on their uh, you know respective projects cost management resource management it is combination of two different things project management and product development when two things are going to merge the data will be developed this data will be loaded into the tool to which we call 
either we can call it excel if we are using that tool as a uh, project management information system our microsoft project our primavera p6 right so with the help of these three tools you are able to you know show your data into modern softwares to uh, follow the project management instructions but those instructions are clearly mentioned in the fourth important document to which we call contract contract is a legal document between different stakeholders to show the responsibilities so if you want to become a planning engineer you are a mid career level this is the bundle of skills you need to get grip on project management product uh, knowledge site execution knowledge but that is not important that you should have spent some time like three years four years it's very easy to get the exposure through trainings through different kind of templates through different kind of videos the third most important thing to get awareness with the functionalities working commands of primavera p6 and the contract like fidic nec and then after that you have to develop your mindset like how to communicate and be part of the meetings and how to talk about the logical things uh, what is coming in the future in next one month and how to conclude the results in logical way right that is one thing which will be parallel developing with the period of uh, you know time you are going to spend on the field in the head office while doing planning and control so all these things are the combination of you know planning engineer skill set so their site experience are real exposure once you know there are the differences to join a planning engineering career doesn't need your number of years of experience planning engineering career only needs your exposure to primavera p6 your understanding of project management product development and contract you need only one chance you need to clear one interview once you are going to become that part of world like planning engineering then you will having all that exposure uh, day and night and you will be polishing yourself so now you know about it that to become a planning engineer is not in your hand by default if you have been waiting that I should be part of this job career. But with the passage of time, you have to make it by yourself, by learning the skills. Then you will be in such a position to clarify the job interview. And then you can become that reasonable planner. Even you are a fresher, you are a mid-career level engineer. To mid-career level engineer, people are going to ask you that level questions. And I have un... Uh, cover all those tips and tricks that how you can become that mid-career level planner right and now i will invite you to become you know a part of my upcoming live free master class in which i'm going to give you one more step ahead information which is going to help you which is going to groom your skills which is uh, going to help you to find modern job hunting technique strategy through which you can just learn the skills and then approach the recruiters, managers out there in the Gulf region. So write in the comment section area, live free masterclass with engineer Vakas in which I'm going to share with you too much valuable information.